We've made progress treating and preventing serious cases of COVID, but that's not the only outbreak causing concern. Three cases of measles have been reported in Chicago just weeks after at least 10 cases were reported hundreds of miles away in Florida, raising fears the disease could be spreading across the country. In Chicago, two of the three patients were children living inside a migrant shelter. One has been attending a nearby public school. Yeah, they, people have told me that since they have little kids and all this, it's bad for them. The CDC says there are now reported measles cases in at least 17 states, and most doctors agree the spread is being fueled by low vaccination rates, especially among young children, many of whom stopped getting the shots during the COVID outbreak and never got back on schedule. And in a lot of the states now, we're seeing uh, new vaccination rates in the, in the children in the high 60s, uh, which means that we've got an awful lot of susceptible kids that are out there. The CDC issued a measles warning back in January, urging health care providers to be on the lookout for a possible new outbreak. But officials are stressing the possibility of a widespread COVID-like crisis is extremely low and protecting yourself is easy. Measles is much more contagious than COVID-19. Um, it's incredibly safe in terms of the vaccination. This is not a cause for panic or cause for alarm. It's called for good prevention, which is immunization. The CDC recommends an isolation period of three weeks if your kids are unvaccinated and they're exposed to measles. In Atlanta, Jonathan Siri, Fox News.